Okay, so first things first is I like to have my sectioning really, really like intricate and well done. Um, and I like to create zones. I also really enjoy doing my toners on damp hair and coming back to the chair to do it. Um, you could do it at the bowl, very efficient and quick, but I actually love to just do my toners at the chair. I like to get really into it and it's kind of like a science project. So I like to start from the top of the head down to the ear on both sides. Again, my name is Sharon, for those of you that are just joining us. Tell me where you guys are from too. I'm curious where you guys are watching from. I always love to know what states are in here. Okay, top of the ear, or top of the head down to the bottom of the ear. And I'll brush that out. Then I'll go ahead and, you know when we're doing our highlights or our balayage or our foliage, we pretty much know right away, sorry. We pretty much know right away where our money piece is gonna live. Whether we want a thicker money piece, a thinner money piece, we pretty much know. So when I'm going to do my toner, I'm gonna pick that out the same way I did when I highlighted. Ooh, we have people from all over. That's awesome. I'm in Los Angeles right now, and I'm so happy you guys are here learning with me. This is exciting. So I'll kind of pick out, put your head down a little bit, where I want my money piece to be in the thickness. So I'm feeling like right here. So this is gonna be how thick my money piece is, and I'm gonna create a literal triangle and go straight back to the corner. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna go a little deeper and heavier with this because I want to have a little more of a rooted look. So I'm gonna go from where the money piece is down to the back of the ear. And I'll turn here right now and show you guys. But I'm gonna go and it creates a triangle. Tilt your head over a little bit. This creates a triangle from where the money piece finishes down to the back of the ear. Now I know this is gonna be my area of depth. Also, I wanna make sure I'm reading your guys' stuff. Oh, welcome everybody, we're from all over, I love it. So, I know that this area right here is gonna be my pockets of depth. This is where it's going to melt, and I'm really, this is one of my favorite parts. So I'll just go ahead and clip that away. Now I have my money piece section, which I know I'm gonna do very short taps. I always say like my top and tone technique is all about long taps and short taps. So my short tap is gonna be right here because I really wanna keep the front nice and bright. So I know I'm just gonna tap this section. And it's so nice like doing this and creating like a roadmap ahead of time because then I feel like when I go in the tone, I'm very fast and efficient. Also guys, with our tonal control toners that are already pre-bonded, that's already an amazing thing, um, it's like gel cream consistency. It's insane. Because have you ever used too much of a, of a liquid or too much of a cream and it kind of doesn't give you that feeling that you want on the hair or it slips and slides or something? This is the perfect consistency with these tonal control toners and I can't stop using them. I can't use anything else. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side pick out my money piece, back of the ear, create that little triangle, and clip it away. Oh, I love you guys. Also, if you have any questions and I like don't happen to see it or don't get to it, feel free to DM me. I'm always up in my DMs responding to any and all questions. There's no bad questions, so feel free. So now when I get to the back, super easy, I'm just going to split it directly in half. Some people like to do this all in one and that's fine do whatever makes you comfortable I like to be like really on point about everything so I'm gonna split this directly in half doesn't have to be like super perfect no stress and I'm gonna clip these away now I have my six quadrants and now I know exactly where my toner is gonna lie to give the effect I want so even if I just did a full head of highlights back to back to back. You can still create that melty look with my top and tone technique. And I'm gonna show you how. So I am going to put on my gloves because safety first. Do we have any? Toning is my struggle. Oh my gosh, great to know you are in the right place. Toning used to be my struggle. And I finally realized what I needed to do to simplify and make work smarter and not harder. And now, oh my gosh, I swear, I can have my partials come in and maybe they let their hair grow for three months and they come in, I just do this tap and tone technique, make some great money in and out, next client. 
it's amazing. Or if you're going to haircut the 20 minutes while it processes, it's amazing. Okay, let's get into it. So for her root melt, or for her root tap, I am going to use six NGA from our tonal control toners. And it's so amazing because this is like real time oxidation and you'll be able to see it with me. You'll see right when it goes on, I can see exactly how it's toning her. And I can be like, oh, I think I need to add a little bit more of E or oh, I can get, because I'll be able to see right away. So you'll never ever overtone your client ever again. And to me, that just makes me feel really comfortable because the last thing I want is to play a guessing game. And that makes me nervous or like rinsing the toner off too soon. And now I'm taking longer because now we have more to do. Like it's a whole thing. We all know that. Okay. So I'm going to scoop this back a little bit more so you guys can fully see everything. <laughs> Again, if you have any questions, let me know and head down a little for me. So I'm going to start with my first quadrant. I always start on the underneath area and I'll kind of just outline. Can you guys see okay? Maybe I can bring it closer. <clears throat> and I'll kind of just outline. Now, this entire time, I'm going to be taking diagonal sections because by taking diagonal section, sections and pulling it over, you're creating over direction, which is gonna make it really, really easy to create that melt, that very seamless melt without having to do too much. You're already doing the over direction, so it's going to be so gradual and gradient, and you don't even have to put that much effort into it. Hope this is a replay watching grandbody. Yes, this will be on the Salon Center Facebook to live and to stay, so you can come back, watch it over and over again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue working up the head. And you can see down here, I'm taking longer taps because I do like a lot of depth down here. So when she has her hair back, there is that depth. And then when she pulls her hair forward, you can see that depth underneath. It gives the illusion that she has more hair. Head up just a tad. Perfect. You are the greatest model ever. And then about every three sections or so. Oh, I forgot my handy dandy tool. One second. <laughs> I'm like, loose this over here. Oh, I'm shopping some. Out about every three sections, I'll go in and kind of just use my, it's called a tangle tamer. Go ahead and take a screenshot. Uh, it's called a tangle tamer and I'll kind of just brush through to make sure there's no lines. Can everybody see? Okay. And then I'll just continue working up the head. And if I'm in the way, just tell me. <laughs> Again, I'm taking those diagonal sections so that everything is um, over directing. So when her hair falls naturally, it's already creating that U shape and that horseshoe shape where it's going to give you the depth where you want it without really having to try hard. It's amazing. This was a game changer for me, you guys. I finally was like, wait, this is the secrets of all secrets. Toning. It's wild. so good. Does it feel good? Yeah. Good. I love that. Good to hear. You hear that? Anyway? She said it feels so good. And um, with this like real time visible oxidation, it's nice too, because if I'm ever feeling like, you know what I need, you know, I need a little more warmth or I need a little more ash in my, um, in my root formula, I can go back because because of the real time visible oxidation, I can go back and correct it. Not that I typically ever need to because our toners are spot on, but if I ever notice, like, you know what, I want that to be a little warmer, I can go back. And it's nice to have that and have that, like, reassurance. And you can do this with a bottle. You can do this with a brush. Also, you guys, see how as I get to the crown, I'm not, I'm not tapping as far down. I'm kind of just taking, like, an inch just right there. So as I work up, it's getting a little bit shorter and shorter. And I'll come through. Perfect. Next side. Any questions? Yay. Okay, we're good. Let's continue. She already knew to put her head down. 
That's the real deal. <laughs> Outlining the area. And this is so fast, you guys, I'm telling you, when I figured this out and I created this technique, and it really is universal, because you don't have to be like going all the way down in these sections. You can, if somebody wants just like baby lights or just high highlights all over, you can just kind of blur that little line right there. But you don't have to be bringing it all the way down. This is such a universal, universal technique. It's really about the roadmap, and it's about where I take my sections and how I take my sections and how I'm over directing, which is making my life easier, which is gonna give that gradiency that we see the, of those photos that go viral on Instagram and, and you know the videos on TikTok and everything. Like that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing that kind of you. And it's really nice because it's gonna grow out like that too. That is the look right now. And you know what I bet? Super high, high, high highlights are gonna come back. High, high, high highlights. <laughs> They're gonna come back and that's when you just do a little short tap. That's when, sh remember shadow roots are a big thing, just those little roots right there? That's gonna come back and you can absolutely use this exact technique and do that too and take, uh, take this same roadmap that I'm teaching you today. My signature tap and tone technique. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. All right, so we're getting to the top here, and then we're gonna be working on the next zone, which I want you guys to really see because this part is really important. All right, amazing. I'll kind of pull the two together now. Awesome, oh my gosh, you can already see it. Yay, okay, let me check really quick. Such a great model, isn't she? She's amazing. Is there a swatch page for the toners? Yes, there is. Love your energy, thank you. Okay, moving on to the side. So I'll call this zone two. <clears throat> this is all, excuse me, this is all our depth area. So we want, this is gonna live kind of right here in her hair. So that's where when she, when you do those curls and you see them forward and you have that depth right behind the money piece, it almost makes the money piece look brighter and stand out more when you give this little bit of depth right here. And this is what I'll call my long tap. All right, and did you see how I was just kind of going diagonal? For this part, I'm gonna go straight up and down vertical, and you'll see why. Can you guys see it then? Cool. So I'm gonna take my section, straight up and down, maybe comb it out a little bit. I may be a little bit messy. I'm kind of a messy hair sauce, but I'm very detail-oriented. There's a difference. <laughs> and I will pull this directly back. Remember, I'm always over directing. So for here, I'm gonna over direct and I'm going to, let me just move this a little bit, fully paint here. And I am taking, I'm matching how far I go to how far I just went in the back. I am matching right there. So I know that's where I finished in the back and I'm pulling this back to match that. And then when this comes forward, there's gonna be a lot of depth there. And I'm gonna get shorter and shorter and shorter as I get to the money piece. But you don't have to. Remember, this is very universal. You could stay keeping everything, just tap, 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 and maybe just a little bit of a longer tap right here for just a little bit of depth. Remember, this is very universal. Also, can we just say happy uh, National Balayage Week? And I feel honored that I'm kicking off this week because we have amazing, amazing artists the rest of the week. And you guys are seriously going to freak out. Like, everyone has so much tea and like, and it's National Balayage Week. I think this is my third one in a row and it's just been amazing. It's been so much fun. I look forward to this week every month or every year. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Whoopsies. I'm gonna continue this section, pulling back, kind of making sure that area is nice and smooth, and doing the same thing, just matching to my last one. I'm gonna move my tray to the other side. Let's see. Have a National Balayage Week, yay! So um, for this whole root that I'm doing, it's six MGA. That's what's so amazing about these toners too, you guys. You don't have to like mix a bunch of things together because we already thought about it. Six NGA is like my go-to. All right, continuing this section. 
No hair left behind. <laughs> like I said, getting a little bit shorter every time, but also following my lines. And I call them my guides. You know how like in haircutting you have your guides? I do the same thing with toning. I do the same thing with highlights and balayage and foliage. I always have a guide. And it keeps everything in unison. Unison. That's the word I always look for. <laughs> All right. Do we have any questions? Love your energy and detail you're talking and teaching. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That makes my day. Because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, am I talking too fast? Are they learning? All right. Working my way up. Really adding in this depth. Like, this is my money maker right here. This is what gives the illusion that the money piece is more popping than it actually is. And in all those photos you see online, like if you start to notice and look at the photos differently, you'll start to see like, oh, they didn't just bleach them like crazy. They are putting a little bit of depth behind that money piece. And that's what's making the money piece look so poppin'. It's all the illusion. All right. And I'm going to brush, brush, brush. Perfect. And then while we're here, we might as well just get into the money piece. Or actually, no, I like to save the money piece for last. We are going to do this side. I think you guys can see right here. So same thing on the other side on this zone. Just taking that vertical section straight up and down, pulling backwards, and meeting with that other guide. Oh, toning has become one of my favorite things. I find it to be so therapeutic and especially when everything's like sectioned off for you and it's not, you don't get lost in your work and it's just really ready to go for you. You can just get lost in it and it's just so relaxing. Do we have a question? Enjoying the class. Yay. You're building my confidence back. Girl. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I also have a video. On, I'm pretty sure I might be I might be stand stood corrected but I'm pretty sure there's a full breakdown video on the matrix um, YouTube sorry babe, on the matrix YouTube of me breaking down this entire um, sorry sometimes I can't talk and work <laughs> um, on this entire technique I'm almost positive that's on the matrix's um, YouTube channel my whole through and through top and tone technique. No lazy hairstylist, brush out that area. <laughs> Let's see. I've been happy with Matrix for over 25 years. Oh, that's incredible. Love to hear that. All right, so we're coming up to the end of this section. I'm getting a little bit shorter with my taps. See how perfect the gel cream consistency just goes on her hair. Oh, it's so amazing to watch. It's just like very satisfying. Okay, last piece right here. Yeah, sometimes this piece, you guys, is more important than the money piece itself. Okay, I'm going to comb through. Kind of connect everything. I'll kind of take a step back and look at everything, make sure everything's melting the exact way. I'm noticing this side is a little bit shorter. There we go. Whoops, how are we doing? All right, love it. Okay, whoops. Now that I've noticed, I took a look back. I can see everything, everything is exactly the way I want it to be. Now it's time for the money piece. Here we go with our short taps. Put your head up just a tad, perfect. I'm gonna make sure my hands are clean. All right, so I'm gonna take my money piece. And I'm going to take it and not make sure it doesn't mess with the other side or anything. Let's bring it a little closer. And I'm going to start back. So I'm going to do the same thing. 
You can really do this either way. I'll show you guys both ways. You can bring everything back or forward. It's really, really up to you. I think easier is actually forward, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm gonna outline, I'm really just gonna do baby taps around the hairline. Really just baby taps. Holding the rest of the hair, pulling it forward. Just baby, baby taps. If you see a little, get on the hair a little, that's totally fine, just rub it out. It happens to all of us. Baby taps. Because I want this piece to pop. I want this to be the money maker. And then when she pulls her hair back, it's just bright. How are we doing? We're doing good, cool. Okay, same with the front right here. I'm gonna kind of pull this down and really, really just softly, sometimes I'll even let go of the other hairs and hold this so it's straight and really just tap. Sorry, it's in your face a little. It's okay. <laughs> See guys, she's the best. Tap. You're the best. I'm so blessed, guys. Everyone's being so nice to me today. I'm like, is it my birthday? It almost is my birthday. <laughs> okay, continuing that section, really just tapping. You could see I'm just tapping. Like there's a huge difference from the back to the front, and this is just still six NGA at the root. Six NGA. Tap, 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 awesome. Now I'll go in and just use my tangle tamer just kind of comb through that little line, just a little bit, nothing crazy. And then just kind of let it sit and do its thing. We do the other side. You see, perfect. Sorry, it's in your face a little. Oh, it's looking so good! I get so excited every time, you guys. Okay, let's see how we can do this side where you guys see me. There we go. All right. Pulling up, really just tapping. Oh, you always want to be careful of the ends, you guys. Sometimes I, I still do that to this day. You have to be careful how you're maneuvering your hands because you never want to get that toner into the ends. That is a big no-no. Okay, separating the hair and just tapping. Separating the hair. And I'll hold this down and just tap. Next one. And just tap. And see how I'm kind of taking an over direction like I have been this whole time? I'm taking it towards her face so that when it lays down sideways, it's really seamless. I really am, even when I'm highlighting, I'm always, always, always over directing you guys. It really is what gives you that like seamless, seamless look. Looks good. Tap, tap. Do you have any questions? Happy almost birthday, Sharon. Oh, do we have any other almost birthdays in the chat? Where are my fellow Leos at? Thank you guys. All right, coming up on this corner, just really tapping. I'm not overthinking this. I'm just tapping a little bit. I really want that to be light and bright. And now when I'm all finished, you could see, put your head down a little, you could see tap, short tap, long tap, and then put your head straight. And then you could see as I go around, do you see that U? How it's like already creating a U? I didn't do that. It did it on its own by me over directing. So I don't have to worry like, do I need to pull it down right here more? Do I need to pull it down right here more? It's doing it on its own and it's gonna be even. That's what I love about it, it's foolproof. It's gonna be super even. And then I'm just gonna go in. Oh, give me one second. I don't know what's going on here. Uh-oh. All right. And then I'm gonna go in and, are we good? I think we're still good. I am gonna go in and do my ends toner now, which I'm using. Oh my gosh, I keep getting these things. Are we live? I think we're good. <laughs> I am gonna go in with Matrix's 11 PV. You guys, 
it is to die for. It is so good. I love putting a good leaden PB. I don't have to do anything else. We have this new one, the 10T. Oh, adding that in is bomb. But I'm just gonna do 11 PB on her. And I think it'll complement her skin tone really, really well. And I'm just gonna throw that 11 PV on all the rest of the hair. I'm gonna start in the back where I started because the, to uh, the root toner stiffened up a little bit. So I won't drag down. And I'm just gonna slap it on all over. This was so fun. I know we're running out of time a little bit. So ask me anything and I'll get this started so you guys can see how I go about it on camera. Okay, give me one second. All right, I am gonna start in the back, so I'm gonna retake that section. Retake that section, really not maneuvering the hair too much. I'm just kind of being very gentle with all of my movements. Yes, uh, 11 PV, let me show you the box, it's awesome. 11 PV, and it's called Platinum Please. It's so cute, the packaging is my favorite. My clients are always like, what's that, is that candy? I'm like, no, it's a toner. <laughs> Yes, you have to try this. Okay, so I'm just going to split it back in half and start from the bottom and work my way up. Here, I'm going to pull it back so you guys can see everything. And this is just going to sit for 20 minutes, you guys. There we go. This is just going to sit for 20 minutes. And you wash it off, style, and they're going to feel brand new. This is seriously my favorite thing to do in the salon. It smells really good. It does, right? Oh, so nice. Sometimes, you know, we're working with products all day, every day. And you're just like, can I just uh, smell something nice in my nose, please? <laughs> and these smell really good. I did 11 PV and a bit of 9 AA. Oh, how was that? That was probably stunning. Their client was probably like, oh. <laughs> I use the toner at the roots like you are, it lifted. I only use 10. Does anyone else have this problem? That or not problem? Does anyone else have the, oh yeah. That is so strange, that's never happened to me. And I of course use my 10 volume. And that has never ever happened to me. Did you mix maybe something else? You're with it? That's so strange. All right, I'm really just getting this on here. At the very end, I'm going to take my Tangle Tamer again and just go over everything. Make sure everything is super blended. Getting it in there. Oh my gosh, I love the consistency so much. It's my favorite. Amazing. Add a little extra right there. Her hair is going to dry more if you take your time reading the comments. Oh! True that! <laughs> But it's okay, you can actually do this on dry hair too. That's what's so awesome about these uh, tonal control toners. You can seriously do it on, as long as the hair is clean and has been shampooed, you can do it however you want. It's awesome. All right. It is popping in here, guys. I love it. This is so much fun. I really do look forward to National Balayage Week every single year because I watch everything too. <laughs> I'm like, um, I would like the tea please. <laughs> so it's so special to me that I get to like jump it off, jump it off. I don't even think that was the right word. I get to, I get to start it off. You guys pop it off. I get to pop it off. <laughs> so this is so fun. I'm happy you guys are here on your Monday spending it with me and my tonal control tap tone technique. <laughs> Now I'm rocking for you guys. We need to calm down. <laughs> All right. Okay, my back on that side's done. Now let's do this side. What would you guys say has been your favorite part of my technique so far? Like, what's something that you already are like, oh my gosh, I'm doing that in the salon tomorrow? Is there one moment where you were like, ah, because trust me, I had crazy ah moments when I created this technique, which is why I created this technique because I was so struggling with toning and how to get the blend down and just everything that all the components of toning. So when I had my aha moments, it was like life changing for me. So I'm wondering if you guys have had 
any aha moments today. Love your partings. Oh, thank you. You can see I'm taking my partings the exact way I took it um, when I applied the, the root tap. So I'm staying in that diagonal form. Over directing. Yeah, yeah. That was a huge aha moment for me. Oh my gosh. I remember when I figured out, sorry babe, when I figured out over directing, I mean, my blends just became better all around the board. Like, it got to the point where I didn't even always need to do a root toner because the over direction just made everything so seamless and I was just like, it was crazy. That was an awesome moment. I'd say using matrix for root mounting. I usually use something else, but I'd love to. Oh my gosh, you should. Especially, especially these tonal control toners. I'm telling you, this gel cream consistency is next level. And I've tried it all out there. Let me tell you. I have tried it all. All right, box looking good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys the finished result. I'll take pictures once it's styled because I don't think we have enough time to look for it to, like when it's fully processed. So I will make sure to send those over to Salon Centric. And I'll put them on my story too. So make sure you're following me at Sharon.SimplyInsane. That is my username for TikTok. That's my username for Instagram for everything. So you can find me on those. And I'm always checking my DMs. So feel free if you, you know, watch this later and you realize, oh shoot, I forgot to ask this question. Feel free to DM me or you can re-watch it and ask the question on here. I'll be checking it. Yeah. Do, do, do. Love this technique, Sharon. Yay! So exciting. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you love it. And if any of you guys try this technique and you're like, oh my gosh, please let me know. Tag me on the post. Tag me on your story. I would love to see this like really working out for people because it really works out for me. And like I said, this is so universal that I'm really head back just a tad, please. Thank you. This is really universal. So like you can really take this technique and just run with it and make it your own and like what works for you. Maybe you like to use a bottle for the ends, which is totally fine. Maybe you wanna do this, ooh. Maybe you wanna do this at the bowl and not at the, that is totally fine. Take it and run with it and tell me what you do. Cause maybe you'll show me something where I'm like, oh, that was a good idea. All right. Now I'm just putting the rest Sometimes, depending on the client, what they're looking for, the customization, whatever it is, um, sometimes I'll mix a separate toner for the money piece, just for this area I'm doing right now that I sectioned out in the beginning. And I'll do like maybe the 11 PV with a little more clear to give it an extra pop. But I didn't feel like I needed to with Ashley. I added enough depth behind that it's gonna make that wild pop anyways. But knowing that that's an option, is always smart if you're ever wondering how people do back-to-back -back highlights and they're like but her front is still so much brighter it's usually because they're putting clear in their money piece part of the formula that was another aha moment for me <laughs> will the recording of this be online yes this is going to be saved to the facebook page i'm so excited i want to like rewatch myself make fun of myself <laughs> So you can watch it later. All right, oh, I got a little on your forehead. Sorry about that. <laughs> like to come through. Bomb. Oh my gosh, three it straight. Look how melty it's looking. And then over just a little. Oh, it's so melty, melty. I love it. Okay, let's finish off with this side. And we're good to go. I cannot wait to blow dry you. How are we doing, guys? We're doing good? 
I asked earlier, if you're new in here, I said, is there any like aha moment you've had so far? Is there something that I maybe said that you're like, oh my gosh, I would have never thought of like, that happens to me all the time. I'm curious to hear. So go ahead and share if you want to. And you see how you can visibly see her hair changing like right now on this live. Awesome. Never overtone your client ever again. Woohoo! How are you feeling? I feel amazing. Yay! We love that. All right, and this is just a one-to-one -one ratio with, oh my gosh, my hair looks so cute. I feel like I'm in like um, the Grinch stole Christmas. <laughs> like, no. Cindy Lou. I feel cute. I feel like a brat stall today. <laughs> um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, and I use 10 volume, of course. And like I said, you can be doing this with a bottle, a brush, whatever um, works for you. I like to get in there with my hands, my favorite. But maybe sometimes if I'm not doing a root um, and I'm just doing it all over, I might just take the, take the bottle out the bowl and just get it on there. Will you post the color for me as yes? And just to say it again, my the root was six NGA, and the end was uh, the ends were eleven PV. If you're up just a tad, thank you. Eleven PV for the ends and six NGA for the root. And that's what I just love about tonal control, Matrix's tonal control, because like before I would be putting in the end, putting in the, the G, putting in the like all separately. And it's all together and it just saves me so much time. It's incredible how it's just there and I can just literally use one toner for my whole formula. It's incredible and it's definitely my go-to. 6NGA is on another level. And if you haven't tried it yet or tried the tonal control, it's pre-bonded. What are you waiting for? <laughs> And it really, I honestly feel like our tonal control is like revolutionary, like it's next level. Okay, she is on and popping, guys. I am so excited to show you what this is gonna turn out looking like. It is going to be so stunning, very seamless and very pearly. I'm very excited to show you. I already took before pictures, so I will take after pictures too. But thank you guys for coming on here and doing this with me and like starting the Monday off with a bang. Um, and if you guys have any more questions or anything, I, we're going to get back to everyone as much as we can and feel free to DM me, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your Monday and happy national Balladage week. <laughs> Bye guys.